Good evening, I'm Jim Axelrod. Pope Francis opened more than his heart to refugees trapped in Greece today. He opened his home, inviting three Muslim families fleeing the war in Syria to come live at the Vatican. They immediately boarded the papal plane and returned to Rome with Francis. As nearly five million Syrians are now refugees, Pope Francis called his gesture a drop of water in the sea of Europe's migrant crisis. But he said he hopes it will lead to more refugees being welcomed in Europe and beyond. More now from Seth Doan at the Vatican. The 12 Syrian refugees appeared stunned as they arrived to a warm welcome in a lively part of Rome tonight. Hassan Zaheda and Noor Essa, both engineers, had crossed through ISIS territory while fleeing. Can you believe that you're here? No, no, <laughs> no I can't believe. Their two-year-old made the journey with them, at one point in a rubber raft on the dangerous passage from Turkey to Greece. It's the uh, same the dream. It seems like a yeah, dream. Yeah, yeah. Because yesterday, in the, same, in the same time, yesterday, there was nothing. Nothing until Pope Francis took the three Syrian families, all Muslims, on his plane back to Italy. On the flight, he explained he was inspired to do this just a week ago and did not choose between Christians and Muslims. He called the refugees all children of God. Upon landing, he greeted refugees, including Nur Essa. What did you say to the Pope? Thank you, thank you, thank you, and pray for us. The Vatican called the Pope's visit today humanitarian. He visited the Greek island of Lesbos, as some of Europe's borders have been closed to migrants. In some cases, migrants have even been deported back to Turkey. The Pope's message was as simple as it was warm. You are not alone, he said. Do not give up hope. Seth Doan joins us now. Seth, a very busy day for the Pope. Even before he got on the plane to go to Greece, he ran into Senator Bernie Sanders. Absolutely, Jim. Senator Bernie Sanders had made a trip here to take part in an academic conference at the Vatican. And officially, the Vatican had really distanced itself leading up to that trip. But Senator Sanders was saying in the same hotel where the Pope lives and greeted the Pope on his way out this morning. We caught up with the senator on a terrace overlooking the Vatican just after that meeting. Are there pictures of this meeting with the Pope or was it behind closed doors? Well, it was neither, but we chose not to do pictures. We didn't want anyone to think this was political. But it is political, isn't it? No, it is. Uh, if it was, I was really being political, I'd be in New York City right now and not here in Rome. And later, the Pope went on to also say that that was not a political meeting. He said it was just politeness. And the Pope said that anyone who saw it differently should, quote, see a psychiatrist. Jim? Seth Tone reporting for us tonight from the Vatican. Thank you, Seth.